Welcome one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did some mission prep and today we have the mission. I don't know when the first time jump is supposed it to come into play. Soon, Professor. The abandoned okay. tower those thieves are using as a base. Conan Tower. This area was the site I've of a massive drink. Battle you guys just keep running your mouth. I'm gonna grab a drink. That's when invasions from the north. I'm were at their super point. professional. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. Got a Lipton tea. It will be difficult to seize. Because I like tea. You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please. Good tell for us you. More. Well, I. Ah, it's you're joking. Just the base Lipton, even Professor, though I prefer. Did you see the local villages? No, they I did were not. In rough shape. No doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If the thieves had taken up pillaging in order to survive, that would be deplorable, but understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Nope. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, your highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain... The thieves' leader, the one who stole the relic... Word has it, he's your older brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. That's... Sure about that? uh... It would be understandable to find the situation... Well, regrettable, to say the least. Ah. Uh... That's, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Ash had to fight his adoptive father, now Sylvain has to fight his brother. That's... Regrets? <laughs> you must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? This rain threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. That's that's pretty heavy stuff. The sound or not, that's still your brother. I already know reclassing is futile. Let's fight. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They are merely thieves, but they have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. Okay. What should I do? I'll cut through. But I understand the Weapons Triangle is still in I'm this game, it. but it's not really the thing that decides battles. It's mostly stats Here we go. and abilities. I'll go. I really don't like you, Felix. You are such a prick. But damn it, you're a prick who gets results, so I can at least tolerate give it you. My own. Ready. Okay, Gilbert is an ally. Oh jeez, I need to take the iron axe off of Dadu. No. Italian leveled up. Actually the hand axe isn't that bad. If I'm trying to keep my distance. Where's Ingrid? You need more stats, honey. So let's get you close to the front. Sufficient. Do you hit pretty hard, you know that? You fought well. Oh, 
Oh, geez, there's some coming up the rear. Captain's at enemy's approach from the low. Okay, I'm gonna have Felix and Ingrid run back to take care of them. I hope I'm not making a mistake with that. Yeah, I'm not playing on classic, I'm playing casual because I'm just a little scrub when it comes to this game. And I don't like losing units. And yes, I know. I can turn back time. But I'm not going to do that. Ash, you go help them. Don't you be kill stealing me now, Gilbert. Seriously, man, do not kill steel meal. Kill steel me. That is rude. Let's go after this rogue. Sylvain, you handle that with Dimitri. I'm gonna have you pull back, assist, physic. Unfortunately, Ingrid's not in range of that, so y'all are just gonna press forward. I might put that leather shield on Ingrid, just to give her a little bit more defense. <laughs> I'm sorry, every time a battalion misses like that, I think it's hilarious. I really do think it's funny. Forgive me. Well, you're going back. For the goddess. That's okay. That's why I play on casual. Even if it does annoy me. Grounder. Okay. Now it's time for y'all to play catch up. Get a move on. As expected. The officer's uniform looks really good on Byleth. Let's shake things up. You're just gonna try this again. Even if it... <laughs> like, what actually happens when an assault like that misses? What, do the enemies just run past you without even thinking? I may need to fall back in here and get a chest key. You never had a chance. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Never mind, I picked one up.
And where is Sylvain's brother? Right here. Micklin. The Lance of Ruin. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Dimitri's gonna make good use of that. More assholes coming up the rear. An armor slayer. That's pretty handy. guys wait up for everyone else. So this might get a little boring, but... be very clear that they're still going to be moving forward. Especially considering I just put her in the line of fire. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. Damn, I didn't see them. They're actually bringing camera angles into combat. I actually really like this. It really makes you examine everything. And I've got to pull Annie out. This is bad. I screwed up. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna have to use that. As you flee. Equip wind. And use that medicine. Tank it like a champ to do. And his mercenaries failed. Great. Everyone will be so pleased. I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to I'll skip that. I'm sorry. Maybe. I was trying to zoom in. I'm not cut out for this. I don't know what I just did, but Ash had to pull out. Because you can go like this into a third person perspective. 
or first, actually it's more of a first person perspective. What, where the? even here. I get casual mode for screw ups like mine and screw ups like me. See what we got. Big honking overnight down there. What should I do? 
catch up with Annie and help her deal with them. Got a lot of units coming in fast. Stay vigilant. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's bring yours up. Let's get you right to the edge. You are not going to be able to take hits like Didu is. I can set, I can guarantee that much. Not enough. Child's plan. Maybe some stupid rogues for going after the armored knight. I guess they will to fight the knight. But you're not getting over that shield. This is my duty. Be gone. I'm gonna have Sylvain fight his brother just because I guarantee there's going to be something interesting happen. So. She has a crest, a minor crest of healing. I still think it's funny that when the friggin' battalions no, miss. Each battle, a chance to grow. Not good enough. It all comes down to this. I mean, seriously, what, do they just run past them without even thinking? I really want to know if that's the case, because it's funny. I'm picturing a meme comic on that, and I'm just laughing about it. Hey Gilbert, save some for me. I'll do my best. Oh, nice work, Annie. And you have a new magic. Proceed with caution. Oof. Not good, not good. Out of reach. Why am I even here? The 
because I need a good swordsman. Feel the difference. And that's exactly what you are, is a good swordsman. It doesn't mean I like you, but I'm willing to admit you're good at what you do. I don't have a choice. I can hope for a crit. I certainly could have hoped you actually hit your target. I certainly could have hoped for a miss there too. That's that sucks. Remember the plan. I mean, seriously, are they just running past them? Now. As expected. Careful, please. Stay vigilant. That was certainly useful. Dodge! Could have used a dodge there too, you know. I cannot lose. I have held back. I'm gonna say no there, Violet. We must all do our part. Another win.
I don't really want to waste the Sword of the Creator. Just because, you know, it's a relic. Unfortunately, Sylvain doesn't get to talk with his brother. Some for me. Gilbert, I swear to God. That is that. Kill every last one of us? <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. That's the relic of the hero?
What the freaking hell? Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Jesus. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. And that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. Good to know. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. That's the name of the game, honey. How'd you learn all this anyway? You should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! That's a good point. So, this is the power of a hero's relic. To create such a sinister beast. It has gone too far. I fear all we can do now is put an end to it. What kind of hero is this? It needs to be killed twice? And it's got barrier. You know what? No, you stay back. Be mindful. Much needed. <laughs> Faith at level three. And this means more heals. Not good enough. Oh my god! Stay focused. Oh my god! Let's go for the gambit. I'm here to help. It's our chance to prevail. What's wrong? Okay, it's focusing there. It's confused. Oh, I forgot, you can use friggin' magic. Not done yet. Mm. 
no hesitation. What a threat, no less. Damn, that was a good call. I did not see that coming. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It's over. Let's retrieve the Lance and leave this place. <sighs> no, seriously, what the hell was that? was swallowing him whole. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. That one did anyway. Still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? I don't Professor, know. you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Okay, but what are these relics? Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Crystal. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment was it? for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. I don't know if I like you or not, Archbishop. You knew? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The Church will formally return the Lance to House Gautier, if you would. As you wish. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I don't want to piss off the church lady. Is your meeting over, Professor? Obviously. You look troubled. 
I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the ten elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further, and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. Why are they so obsessed with it? And why this house in particular? To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. Crests give them special privileges? Strength is strength. With or without a crest. I believe the same. Ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. What do you believe, Dimitri? Wrong button. I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. Well said. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. Again, well said. Don't be an asshat. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do. And I'd wager you do as well. I don't know about that. I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable, or to find a way to accept it anyway? Depends on what you deem as unacceptable. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the Sword of the Creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? No, I haven't. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I... I don't even know what's to come. But on the Dark Seraph signing off.